And we are learning new details this morning about a shooting in a northwest side parking lot that left one woman dead. In a very busy area. Leaders and organizations just held a press conference about domestic violence services and resources. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick joining us live from that Brickyard Mall in Belmont, Craig, and with that new information. Meredith. Ryan Audrina Alderman Gilbert Villegas just spoke moments ago saying that woman's death did not have to happen. It's tragic because there were there were clues and hints mm -hmm. of that this violence was occurring. And people were quiet and silent on it. And I think that it's important that when these incidents occur, that people stand up, neighbors stand up, call it out. So that way we don't find ourselves in a position where we have, in this case here, a woman that was shot and killed. This could, this could have been prevented. We are still waiting to learn the identities of both the 47-year-old female victim and her 50-year-old husband, who Viega says turned himself into Schiller Park Police following the shooting. This was the scene Wednesday morning as police focused their investigation around a white Jeep parked at the Target in the Brickyard Mall. In the aftermath of that woman's shooting death, Viegas and other community leaders are urging others to speak up and reach out if they too are the victims of domestic violence. The executive director of Metropolitan Family Services says they have seen a 30% increase in demand for services as it relates to domestic violence. Domestic violence um, is something that's plaguing our city, plaguing our community. Uh, and we've been silent for way too long. Uh, and there's community members that know that incidents like these are occurring. Uh, and when they see something, they need to say something. Uh, there are resources that are out there. The victim's husband is in custody right now and being questioned by police. But as of right now, charges have not been filed. Reporting live in Belmont, Craig, and I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News.